Have you see it's Aaron, Meet the Alamere. Today I am responding to a thread by Jack at JT Media. And he's got a great channel. I just started watching him about a month ago. I think he's pretty new to the VC. Doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers. So if everyone would go over and subscribe to JT Media. He's such a cool uh, guy, kid. He's, he's a younger member of the VC, probably in his teens, you know, mid-teens to late teens. And he's very knowledgeable, does really good videos, and has re really great ideas. And um, so I'm responding to a Beatles thread he did. It's a response to a response, uh, kind of add-on to a, an older thread. And I never did that one, but I, I might end up doing that one too, to coincide with this. So, so the first question here was, uh, which year would you most like to see the Beatles perform live? And he gave the, uh, the choice of 64, 65, or 66. My answer is none of the above. I would uh, choose to see them in 1969 doing the rooftop concert. But any of those others would be good too. But that's just when I would have preferred to see. I would have loved to have seen that concert for the, you know, get back, let it be, all that stuff. That would have been really cool. So I, I prefer their later work to their earlier, even though I love their earlier work. So that's where I would really like to have seen them. So um, question two, which do you prefer? A Hard Day's Night or Help? And I'm going to go with Help because I just, they're both great. But this one has Yesterday on it. <laughs> And, you know, the, the title song, Help, is one of my favorite John Lennon songs. It's so good. You know, there's just so many. Ticket to Ride is on here. Act Naturally, I love that. You know, it's just, I, it's just great. There's the tracks. Amazing. Hard Day's Night is great, too, though. Can't go wrong with either one. Okay, uh, question three. Do you prefer Octopus's Garden or Don't Pass Me By? And this was actually my hardest one to answer for this whole thing probably because I have a special attachment to Octopus's Garden because it was my uh, first favorite song I ever had when I was about three years old you know for my first few years of me listening to music that was my very favorite song and so and I love it I love the lyrics I love the background singing in it all the weird special effects that are going on in it and it's just a happy song um, it just it puts you kind of in a mood and I really love it and Don't Pass Me By is from my favorite Beatles record the, the self-titled album white album and it's a great song too it's got kind of country leanings the lyrics are really good um i just and the car crash stuff on there i just i love it and um so that's really tough i'm gonna go with octopus's garden just because it was my first favorite song and i love it but you can't go wrong with either one they're both great ringo is very underappreciated i think to me um okay question four what do you prefer? And this comes from this. This is the Sgt. Pepper, the original song or the reprise. And I prefer the, the first song. It's just such a great album, album opener. And I have so many memories to hearing that song and just and then it flowing into uh, a little help from my friends. And it's just so good. I, and I always like to hear those two together. And I prefer the, the first version. The next, what is your favorite Beatles album cover? Now, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, <laughs> this is question five. What is your favorite Beatles album cover? Now, you know, they have all their album covers are great. I almost went with Revolver, but for me, this is probably my favorite cover. I just love the colors of it. I love the uh, them dressed up like that. The font for the Magical Mystery Tour, having all the songs. Can't go wrong with any of them, but this is my favorite. Magical Mystery Tour, of course. Okay. Now, this next one was kind of not very hard for me, actually. I've always thought this. If, uh, if you could take a track off a Beatles album to make it better, would you? And what would it be? And yes, there's one track I would take off a Beatles record. Not because I don't like it, but I don't like the version. And it's from the White Album. Revolution 1. Not nine. I like. I'll get to that later. But Revolution One, I would take off this. I don't like how they redid it. I prefer the original with the hard, uh, you know, the uh, upbeat, hard driving song. And um, on this version, they put like a shooby dooby, you know, doo wop stuff in it. Mellowed. We kind of wimped it out. It's just so different. And every time I hear it, I want to hear the other, the other version. I just. Uh, I've. It's the only song on here that I'm really. That really I don't care for too much. But it's still, it's still a revolution. But it's just, I don't like that version. I never have. 
So, okay, my next one is, what is your favorite side of a Beatles album? Now, <laughs> that could be, there's about a dozen of them that I could have picked, but I'm going back with this record, Magical Mystery Tour. I'm going to say side one. And there's, it's just got three or four of my top 20 Beatles songs on it. And um, side two has all those big hits, but side one has, let's see, starts with the title song, Magical Mystery Tour, which I love. Um, the Fool on the Hill, one of the most underrated Beatles songs. Flying, I love that instrumental. And Blue Jay Way is actually one of my top 10 Beatles songs. I know that's odd, but it is. And then Your Mother Should Know, I love that song. And I Am the Walrus, another one of my top 10 Beatles songs. Fool on the Hill and Magical Mystery Tour are probably both in my top 20. But I'll just say the side one from this, although, you know, I could have said a dozen or two dozen different sides and they all would have been right for me. So I love, I'm a huge Beatles fan. So, okay, so next up, back to this. What is your opinion of Revolution 9? And Revolution 9 is unlike any other Beatle track. Of course, it's uh, tape loops and all this weird stuff. But you hear that on headphones or you know, really good stereo, and it just has all this interesting stuff going on. And it's kind of influenced a lot of different music in a way. I know uh, Pearl Jam has a kind of a similar thing they did on Vitology. There's been a lot of other bands, and I just, I really enjoy hearing Revolution 9, actually. It, I don't think it takes away, a lot of people hate it, but I actually really like it. So, that's my thought on Revolution 9. Okay, what is your favorite Beatles label? So, they're all good, but I'm going to go with this label here. And I think this might have only been for this record. It's the Red Apple from Let It Be. I don't know why, I just always like the Red Apple. Usually it's green, which is cool, too. But I just, I really like how the red apple looks. So that's probably my favorite label. Um, label. Okay, my favorite closing track on a Beatle album? Oh man, this was a hard one. But again, going to this record, <laughs> All You Need Is Love. It's just one of the most, I don't know, it's that song that the lyrics mean so much and it's just so good. And the singing and just, I just love that song. A Day in the Life was probably my number two along with and then get back right up there but i'm gonna have to go with all you need is love okay now this one was which do you prefer rubber soul or pet sounds and uh jack mentioned that actually brian wilson was influenced on by rubber soul to make this record, and I've heard that as well. That's that's really cool. But to me, it's not even close. It's Rubber Soul. Rubber Soul is one of the greatest albums of all time. Pet Sounds is too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Pet Sounds. I grew up with that album as well. But it's just it's not Rubber Soul. I'm going Rubber Soul by a lion slide on that. And uh, you know, this is a great record too, though. It's really good. Okay, in the same vein, we got these two records and this is question 12 do you prefer let it bleed or let it be and for me it's let it be the stones are great the Beatles are better <laughs> I've always thought so and this album is one of their most underrated great records it's just I mean it's got get back long and winding road that's probably my least favorite I actually like the uh, the, the stripped down version better but it's still a killer song you know uh, across the universe let it be two of us is great I've got a feeling. One After 909 is just, I love that one too. For You Blue, the Harrison song. This one. And Let It Bleed's a great one too. You know, Give Me Shelter, maybe my favorite Stone song. You know, uh, Monkey Man's great. Midnight Rambler, Let It Bleed. Can't Always Get What You Want. Great album as well, but Beatles. I'm a Beatles all the way <laughs> for me. It's, uh, I grew up with them. I grew up with both of them, but I heard the Beatles so much, I just... Uh, I will always pick them. And what is your favorite title track? Now on this one, I'm going a little weird on this. And um, so I'm going to go with this. Hey Jude is my favorite title track. Even though this wasn't an official release, it's kind of a compilation. But it's all, you know, most of these songs were only on this. And I consider, and this actually had another name at one point too. But it is known as Hey Jude. It says Hey Jude on the vinyl. The early copies didn't. They said, I can't remember what it was. I had a different name. But I'm going with Hey Jude. And if I had to pick a second, it would be Help. I love Help. So. 
Okay, next up. Number 14, which beetle would you most like to meet in person? So I know most people would say John, maybe George, and I can see that. And if I was just talking music or wanting to party or something, I'd say John. But to me, I would like to meet Ringo, just because I think he's the most laid back. He'd be the uh, easiest to talk to. I think he'd be very funny, really cool guy, and he would have amazing stories. Paul would be cool as well. I think any of them would be great, but I'd go with Ringo just because he's so personable. Okay, and number 15, the great question, is Paul dead? Now, uh, when I was young, I was obsessed with this, and that was before the internet, and I only had the record albums and a couple books to go off for uh, references. So I had to really sit and think about it and put all the clues, and why would they even do this clues thing, and, and I kind of thought it was. But to me, it all comes down to the music. And if they really would have replaced Paul, if he would have died, and had, even, no matter how great the musician was, I don't think it would have had the same magic that those four have together. And they actually progressed after that point and it still had that Beatles magic to it. I mean, you can put a great musician with the other three guys and it would have been great music, but I mean, look at them all separate. It just doesn't sound like the Beatles. If it would have been a different person, no matter how great a musician, it wouldn't have sounded like the Beatles anymore. It would have changed, especially since Paul is such a big, you know, uh, very important member with the songwriting, singing, all the instruments he plays, and I think the music would have really changed. I mean, it did change, but I don't think it would have had that magic to it that the, that the four of them had together. And you take any of them apart, it kind of went away. There was still great stuff they did, but didn't have that magic, and it was still there after that point. So I think it's still Paul. I think that's, he's. I think it was a, an elaborate hoax. It was really cool, and nothing ever like it, and very interesting, and I spent many, many hours contemplating it as many people have so so he also did another thread jack and this was to compare two albums from the same year now i'm gonna actually get to this i've just been so busy i've been wanting to do this for um you know a few weeks now and i have a couple different records in mind but i'm gonna throw it in on this one too and stick with the beatles theme and i might actually do another video here in a week or two uh, about a couple re other records like that, or, you know, a, a series similar to that, because it's really cool. He had a great idea with that. So I'm going to compare these two records, even though they're, <laughs> I know it's like, I'm going to compare these two. They came out the same day, April 12, 1973. And to me, these are the two best compilations ever made in the history of music. It's just, when I heard these when I was a kid, I was about 10 or 12 years old when I first got my hand, you know, I, I had a copy, put it on the record player, sat and listened, followed along, read all the lyrics, and I was like, I was just shocked at how every song was like a classic. It's like, not one, and then um, digging deeper into the Beatles, you discover they had all these other classics that aren't even on these, which is amazing. But this record here is the earlier work, and it's it's got, you know, it's so much great music on it that it's just it's just an amazing record everything up to eleanor rigby paperback writer michelle nowhere man that like the midpoint where they're really progressing and becoming a different band but i mean ticket to ride yesterday help we can work it out day tripper she loves you want to i want to hold your hand love me do it's just an amazing piece of american of a not american <laughs> of um, music and it's just, seriously, you can't get do any better than this for this time period. It's amazing, and I love this record. Now, this record, on the other hand, is their later part of their career, which I actually prefer. And this is astounding, the songs on this, from 70, uh, 67 to 70. This is four years of music that's, you know, all these massive, massively iconic songs. I, I just don't... It's like no one else will ever do that again. It's pretty amazing. And to me, I like this one a little bit better, although they're both amazing. And yeah, just let it be, get back. Hey Jude, Revolution, just every song in this. You know, the stuff from Sgt. Pepper, Abbey Road. It's amazing. So to me, I will go with this one here. But not by much, because they're both amazing. Now, if I go and do a, a video on 
this with another band or something i will get more in depth i'm just i want i don't want this video to, to go too long but i wanted to kind of address that so all right so everybody um jack such a great guy he has a he needs more subs he's um his channel is jt media so if you can go sub him and um i appreciate it thanks for watching everybody and goodbye